Hey everyone, I wanted to record this video as well. The Leafs have signed David Camp to a four-year contract and they've also signed Pontus Holmberg to a two-year contract. I also have some other Leaf rumors to throw at you guys, but if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Hit that like button notification bell. Hope to see you more on videos and streams. Leafs signed David Camp to a four-year contract, 2.5 million per. I feel indifferent about this, man. Like I, I just, I think this is a little bit too much. I feel like two million was the max for me in my head. I think there were cheaper options in free agency that do basically the same thing, but you have to consider other things here. Maybe the players love David Camp in the room, love what he does on the ice. We know David Camp is on the top penalty kill with Mitch Marner, but this is what also concerns me, that there's also rumors coming out at the same time that the Leafs are trying to re-sign Alexander Kerfoot. Are we okay? What is going on? Why, like, why run it back to this extent? Bringing back Kerfoot is just so against what they've been talking about in terms of getting grit and getting more power and more presence and all these things, all these words I've been seeing. And Kerfoot's just not that. You know what, Kerfoot's an okay, serviceable depth player, but you just gotta move on sometimes. You've gotta look for a different look. That's why I've said move on from Kerfoot, move on from Hall, move on from these guys. I was okay with bringing David Camp back, but two million was my ceiling. So I feel indifferent about this. An extra 500,000, we'll see how they spend the money, but Pontus Holmberg only had an 800,000 cap hit. So for me, I was thinking maybe 1.1 for Pontus Holmberg around there. So again, it, it, you're getting real nitpicky, but to me, I was really hoping for David Camp to be in around 1.7 to 1.9 in around there. You're getting nitpicky, right? And four years is, it's a heavy term. I still think with this team though, the friendships, that stuff just got, it, it's gotta be thrown out the window if you wanna build a true Stanley Cup championship team. Yes, friendships and chemistry come into play big time, but when we're talking about Kerfoot being great friends with Matthews and all these guys, that can't be the reason you bring a player back. It's got to be a change of scenery for some of these guys. The Leafs looking into players like Scott Lawton and looking into bringing back Ryan O'Reilly. These should be the focus. That should be the focus. Bringing those type of players in. And I also saw, I think it was Elliot Freeman, David Pagnota, a few of these guys out there have been talking about Leafs targets and free agency. Being guys like Ryan Reeves and Watson and, and heavy players like that into the bottom six. Obviously, Reeves would just specifically be fourth line. Watson, probably similar. Corey Perry, similar. But Perry's a guy that can jump into the third line. We see what he does in the playoffs. I know some people are going to be like, oh, Perry's age and he's getting older. Why are the Leafs going to bring guys like that in? Okay, then get a Corey Perry that's five years younger. There's guys out there that are like that. If there's any chance for the Leafs to get a Miles Wood, pursue that. Pursue it. And trade Cali Yarncrow. Trade Cali Yarncrow. <laughs> Trade TJ Brody, trade Matt Murray, and use that money to get guys like Miles Wood, Carson Soucy, because the money there lines up. You could probably get Carson Soucy cheaper than what Brody's cap it is right now, and you get you could get Miles Wood for probably, I don't know, what basically what David Camp and Yarnkro are combined. I'd much rather have Miles Wood as that presence. Again, David Camp, very reliable defensive player, very good on the face-off, very good on the PK. I like David Camp. Don't get it twisted. 2.5. A little too much for me, but I'm not unhappy with it. Pontus Holberg for two years at 800K. I'm excited to see what Holmberg does in a full season. And there's no chance this guy should lose a spot again into the playoffs. I like Holmberg a lot. And I actually think Holmberg can be more of a fourth liner. Like he can be more than just a six, seven, eight minute a night guy. Like I think Holmberg has still potential being in his mid twenties. I think he's going to be a late bloomer here. So give me your thoughts guys in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, like notification bell, what you think the Leafs should do and what kind of targets they should look into. And we'll see you on the next video or stream. Peace.